Symptoms of COVID-19 include shortness of breath, runny nose, loss of smell, and dry cough. St. Lucia has recorded 18 positive cases of the coronavirus thus far, with 15 fully recovered. Health officials, during a panel discussion at the command center on Tuesday, May 5th, reminded the public about the highly infectious and deadly nature of the virus. According to medical director of the Owen King EU Hospital and the Victoria Hospital, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, these basic symptoms, like a runny nose, have been prevalent in majority of the positive cases found on island. The majority of persons we've had who are COVID-19 positive, they had runny nose and sore throat. Basic yes. symptoms. Basic. A very slight very cough. Slight cough. So what we want to tell persons is that you could have just a runny nose and a sore throat. But do not mean that, okay, I'm okay. Because most of the positive cases we had, they had mild symptoms. Yeah. And that is why when you come to Victoria Hospital or you come to the, the five respiratory clinics that we have on, on this island, and you are given instructions to do X and Y, which would include, you know, staying at home, self -isolated. keep yourself isolated. It is very important. Dr. Eugene Ford calls for upfront honesty from individuals seeking medical attention for respiratory ailments. Meanwhile, director of the Ezra Long Laboratory, Wayne Felicier, says the testing capacity of the island did encounter issues at the onset. However, he notes a positive development for the nation. Luckily this week we were able to, uh, on the weekend, we were able to receive a donation from the Cayman Island government of 5,000 5, test kits, which has further increased our testing kit supply to a number of about 13,000. Um, also, we were due to receive uh, one of the more robust analyzers to do the testing later on during the week, um, what we call the analytic genome, and an automated extraction device, which further decreases the time frame to do the test itself. The far-reaching interview also provided the opportunity for Assistant Principal Nursing Officer Tekla Baptiste to address the fact that more women have come forward to receive testing for COVID-19. If a woman is, is not feeling well or has some sign or symptom that's indicative of some illness, she is quicker to she is quicker to have that um, investigated. She's quicker to present herself to a physician. Um, unlike our men, men tend to lag behind when it comes to health-seeking behaviors. Jean-Baptiste expresses the hope that the trend will change and men will also present to clinics if experiencing respiratory ailments. The health officials say medical professionals are constantly updating themselves on the developments of the novel coronavirus. Recent symptoms registered by positive COVID-19 cases include cessation of taste and smell and abdominal pain and digestive issues. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.